one of the most prolific scorers in men's basketball program history. Anthony Williams helped lead Plattsburgh State to three SUNYAC championships during his tenure in a Cardinal uniform. He earned NABC First Team All-America honors in 2007-2008 and NABC Third Team All-America recognition in 2006-2007 in addition to receiving P3Hoops.com Second Team All-America kudos in 2007-2008. Anthony was the D3Hoops.com East Region Player of the Year in 2007-2008 and earned D3Hoops.com First Team All-Region honors in both 2006-2007 and 2007-2008. He also was a two-time NABC All-Region honoree in 2006-2007 and 2007-2008. A two-time SUNYAC Player of the Year in 2006-2007 and 2007-2008 he earned a pair of first-team All-SUNYAC Laurels and was selected to the SUNYAC All-Tournament team on three occasions, including SUNYAC Tournament MVP honors in 2007-2008. Anthony holds the career program record in free throws made and ranks second all-time in scoring with 1,734 points. Anthony played at Robeson High School in Brooklyn and I had recruited several players from Robeson prior to Anthony and uh, had one on the team that year, Curtis Smith, who was a high school teammate of, of Anthony's. Um, so I had a, a real positive relationship with the coach and uh, Anthony wanted to transfer and he was a division one player at Morgan State as a freshman and started for them. Um, but by that time, his, he uh, kind of changed his focus a little bit. He had a son, AJ, Anthony Jr. and said it's really important for him to get a degree and, and move forward with that. And he asked his coach, who, who do you know that can help me do that and, and pursue my basketball career as well? So uh, Coach Major called me and told me about Anthony and I took him sight unseen simply because I trusted his high school coach's word when he told me, you're getting a, you're getting a, a, a great player here. And uh, the other thing that, that I really liked was that you know, a lot of times you get a player of his caliber, you ask them to do things these, because it was a last minute type thing. Um, this has to be done by noon tomorrow and it'd be in at 10 a.m. the next day. You know, and he was he, he followed through on every step of the process. Once he made up his mind that, that he had, this is what I want to do and this is where I want to go. He followed through on every part of it. And, um, you know, so he once he attended, um, we didn't even realize what we had. First of all, he was uh, one of the strongest guards I've ever coached. Um, and he, he just uh, worked on his game constantly. He spent the summer in Plattsburgh um, going into his senior year, and he'd run up to Stewart's and back every day. So he'd run up to that up that up to Stewart's that mile and then run back. And you know he wasn't he wasn't a runner by any stretch, but he knew that this is something that he wanted to be great, and he worked at it. When we when we first got him, he was not in great shape. He had been two years away from the game but he worked on his conditioning as, as much as anybody and worked on his game as much as anybody. So it wasn't a fluke that he was great. It was, it was, it was steeped in hard work. And by the time he was a senior, I thought he was a very good leader um, for, the, for the program. And, uh, you know, and he has since gone on to be a very good representative, lifelong representative of Plattsburgh State Athletics and Plattsburgh State Basketball and uh, Plattsburgh State University in general. Anthony's nickname was Big Shot. Big Anthony Big Shot Williams. It was a, a self-imposed moniker, but boy, was it accurate nonetheless. Um, and and you know you can't you can't think of Anthony without thinking of the shot that he made uh, versus Rochester in the first round of the NCAA tournament, where we were down we were down one. Uh, we fouled, put him on the line, and I think they made one of the two free throws. Uh, we missed the, they missed the second free throw, and it Kylan Hunt got the rebound and, and gave it to Anthony. And I, I remember seeing Anthony come up the court. He took a dribble right, right to left crossover, and I saw his eyes. He was about 45, 50 feet away, just crossed half court. And I looked. I said, "Man, he's going to make this." So that that was just an unbelievable moment for Plattsburgh State history uh, in terms of its basketball program. He was Anthony Big Shot Williams for a reason, and uh, he uh, certainly is unbelievably worthy of the Hall of Fame at Plattsburgh State. Anthony did not have an easy life. Both of his uh, parents passed away. Um, he was the, the dominant figure in his family. Um, his sister is a graduate from Plattsburgh State. His brother is a graduate of Plattsburgh High School. 
Um, his, his other brother who went to Siena and is one of the leading scorers there, constantly relied on Anthony. We're, we're really grateful he attended Plattsburgh and chose Plattsburgh, but I think the things that he's done in his life professionally were a result of his commitment to his family and his commitment to, to being a role model for, for his brothers and sisters. And uh, he's continued that and has, has carries out that same role for countless students um, at, at Middletown High School and Juniors High School. And, and so his life as a professional is kind of a continuation of his life as a, a, a young man that, that had to take on more responsibility than he was maybe ready to assume at the time. Um, and I think that Plattsburgh had an important part of that and Plattsburgh's part of the story. But his commitment to his family, his commitment to excellence is the, is the main part of his story. Well, I'm, I'm sorry that I can't be there uh, with Anthony and Travis on this uh, monumental evening, but um, I'm certainly there with them both in spirit and with all the teammates that are gonna be there. And uh, I'll, I'll see you all on Saturday night and we'll, we'll uh, celebrate it a second time uh, the next night.